John started developing his ear at an early age as his influence evolved, drawing inspiration from old school guitar greats like Richie Blackmore, Neil Sean, Michael Schenker, Steve Morris, and innovators like Eddie Van Halen, next wave players like George Lynch, Steve Vai, and Joe Satriani, who were blazing up the scene at the time. In later years, heavy influence included the likes of Paul Gilbert, Vinnie Moore, Greg Howe, and John Petrucci. By the age of 14, John was in a local cover bands, but then made the next big step in his late teens when he auditioned for and was asked to join the touring band Harpo. During his time in the band, John honed many aspects of his craft, including his writing skills, where he would take over an ever-increasing role in writing the original music for the band. John also gained very valuable performing experience touring the U.S. and Canada, where the band headline-packed venues, as well as supporting such national acts as Ted Nugent, Foghat, Night Ranger, and Winger, playing an average of four nights per week for eight years. That's over 1,600 shows. While the band they released, Armed to Deliver, on Atlas Records, and Fire Your Fire featuring x rods singer Shamulik Avaga. While John Hahn had the club scene abuzz with his guitar wizardry, it was Shrapnel Records head Mike Varney who catapulted John to National Spotlight and he was featured in Mike's Spotlight column in Guitar Player magazine. Looking to take his music to the next level, John set out some demos of his instrumental work to several instrumental guitar labels. This demo caught the ear of David Chastain, another episode of A Guitar Story, founder of Leviathan Records, who would sign John on to release his debut CD. Had to throw in the plug, sorry. John's instrumental debut release, Out of the Shadows on Leviathan Records in the U.S., Zero Records in Japan, and Killer Watt in Europe, shot him into the limelight, gaining much international praise and recognition in such publications as Guitar World, Guitar School, Rip, Guitar Player, and Guitar for the Practicing Musician. Along with laying down all guitars for Out of the Shadows, John wore many hats during this project as sole writer, producer, and bass player. Rod's drummer extraordinaire Carl Kennedy and John Lloyd Kistner on keys joined John in the studio. Notable press included John being featured in a Guitar School magazine article where he was named as one of the next generation of guitar heroes, the Vise and Satrianis of tomorrow. John's next project had him join forces with powerhouse singer Eric Yeal along with drummer Rob Mount to form the band Thick as Thieves, where together they wrote, recorded, and released Rock the House on Avex Bare Knuckle Records in Japan. This no-holds-barred collection of heavy-hitting rock showcased John's compositional diversity in a vocal band setting, complete with ripping rhythms and scorching leads. John lights up every track with his unique soloing style that fuses technique, emotion, dynamics, feel, flash, and fury. It was at this time when another musical door opened in the form of the first Guitar Masters series CD. David Chastain asked John to join the effort to release a CD on Diginet Music, David's internet label. The premise of this release was that John, along with other top-notch guitarists, were all given original bass and drum tracks as a canvas to create a picture with wherever their guitar takes them. A reviewer wrote, This release shows that John has some serious chops and must have for all fans of instrumental guitar CDs. This was followed by the second Guitar Master CD, which was later released as John Hahn Mind Games. This CD, like its predecessor, features John's unique guitar voice and approach as he attacks the tracks, from tasteful melodic passages to blazing high-speed shred combining structure, freeform jamming, and elegant modal phrasing as he tears up each track. Energized to create another instrumental CD, John then turned back to his studio, composing musical pieces, complete with solid foundation songs laden with the signature guitar work of melody, technique, emotion, dynamics, feel, flash, and fury. The resulting output is solid compositions that both the guitarist and non-guitarist will enjoy. Lots of movement to keep the excitement pushing towards a crescendo in each piece, as well as some of the strongest solo work to date. Darkness Falls is available on iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, Google Play, and others. In addition, John has his own genre, John Han Radio on Pandora. John's next musical endeavor again had him cross paths with the Rods drummer Carl Kennedy, who approached him to play guitars on Carl's solo project, Headbanger. 
On this release, you can hear John's signature style throughout this very powerful offering. John covered all rhythm and lead guitars based on one track and on two occasions traded guitar solos with Trans-Siberian Orchestra's Kiss Caffrey. In addition to Carl, John had the privilege of sharing sonic space with amazing vocalists including Mark Tornillo of Accept, Joe Camus of Annihilator, Liege Lord, and Overkill, and none other than the greatest metal voice of all time, Ronnie James Deal, vocal tracks pulled from previously recorded version of The Code. Exciting announcement of the completion and release, October 23, 2020, of his new John Hahn instrumental release, Undiscovered World, featuring Carl Kennedy on drums. In his own words, quote, Over these many years through my musical journey, playing, touring, writing, and recording, I have had the pleasure of meeting and making friends with so many people and have shared a lifetime of incredible memories. Guitar is my passion. This new release is a snapshot of where I'm at this point as a player and writer. It is my hope that as my style evolves, current friends and fans will enjoy the material as well as introducing a new audience to my music. I feel as though I've captured my best writing in playing this release. Please spread the word for many. My music is still an undiscovered world. End quote. 